Hey, science fans, it's week 42 of the year, and there has been a ton of news from the science world. This video can be hours long, but I'm going to break down the three most interesting that you need to know about. First, let's start with something that's literally out of this world. NASA has just unveiled samples straight from the asteroid Bennu, and the findings are astonishing. Yes, we were able to bring back rocks from an asteroid in space. These fragments were brought back to Earth by the OSIRIS-REx mission, launched in 2016, and they hold clues to the very formation of our solar system and the origin of water on Earth. The samples were collected from Bennu, a 4.5 billion-year-old asteroid, and they've been preserved in the vacuum of space since the dawn of our solar system. After a seven-year mission, these samples parachuted onto the Utah desert and were immediately transported to NASA's Johnson Space Center. Preliminary investigations have shown that the material is rich in water, carbon, and organic compounds. Carbon is the building block of life as we know it, forming essential bonds with hydrogen, oxygen, and other elements to create proteins and enzymes. And get this, the Bennu sample contained about 4.7% carbon, the highest abundance of carbon ever measured in an extraterrestrial sample. When scientists say, wow, oh my god, like they did when they saw the rocks, you know it's a big deal. But that's not all. These samples also contain organic compounds that glowed like tiny stars when exposed to black light. Daniel Glavin, the OSIRIS-REx sample analysis lead, said, This stuff is an astrobiologist's dream. So why is this important for us Earthlings? Asteroids like Bennu are believed responsible for Earth's wet features, our oceans, lakes, rivers, and even rain. Bennu has water-bearing clay that likely played a key role in ferrying H2O to Earth billions of years ago. The research is far from over. Scientists have more than a half pound of material to work with, and they're just getting started. In the coming months, they'll catalog the sample and publish their findings, opening up opportunities for scientists worldwide to propose new studies using these materials. Now, let's shift gears and tackle a question that's been gaining traction this week. Are we, and everything we know, just part of a computer simulation? A physicist from the University of Portsmouth has some intriguing insights that could support this mind-bending theory. First, though, let's recognize that the simulated universe hypothesis isn't new. It suggests our reality is like an advanced video game. To understand this, imagine our current VR tech, like MetaQuest, but way more advanced. Given how far we've come since the days of Pong, it's not a stretch to think future simulations could be indistinguishable from reality. That's the gist of the simulated universe theory. Dr. Melvin Vopson, the physicist in question, has been exploring this idea. In 2022, he discovered a new law of physics that could predict genetic mutations and their potential consequences. This law is based on the second law of thermodynamics, which talks about entropy in a system. But here's the twist. Dr. Vopson found that entropy in information systems doesn't necessarily increase. It can remain constant or even decrease. He calls this the second law of information dynamics, or infodynamics. This new law of physics is turning heads, but let's make it easier to understand. Picture playing chess. Knowing the rules lets you play, but having a better strategy than your opponent lets you win. This law is like discovering a new chess strategy that not only helps you win, but also shifts how the game is played altogether. It's a universal insight that helps decode many things, including the simulation hypothesis. Dr. Vopson points out that removing excess information in the universe resembles a computer deleting waste code to save storage space. Have you ever run out of storage space on your computer and had to empty your recycle bin? This is the same thing and could mean that our reality is actually a highly efficient simulation. So what's next? Dr. Vopson says empirical testing is needed, and one way to do that is through particle-antiparticle collisions to confirm a fifth state of matter. We're all looking forward to the results. Next, we're diving into a discovery that could rewrite the history books. Imagine walking along a lake over 20,000 years ago, leaving footprints scientists would one day discover and debate over. That's precisely what happened in New Mexico's White Sands National Park. Two years ago, a team of scientists made a groundbreaking discovery in the park. They found human footprints that they dated to be between 23,000 and 21,000 years old. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, most experts believe that humans arrived in the Americas around 16,000 years ago. These footprints could potentially push that timeline back by thousands of years. The initial findings were met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. 
especially regarding the methods used to date these footprints. But now, the team has returned with new evidence. They used two additional dating techniques on pollen and quartz grains found in the same layers as the footprints. The results? The new dates align perfectly with their original findings, adding more weight to the claim that humans were in the Americas during the Ice Age. If this is true, it's a game changer. Archaeologists will have to rethink how the first humans arrived in the Americas and where to look for more evidence. But not everyone is convinced. Some experts argue that the sediment layers could have been disturbed over time, affecting the dating results. So the next time you walk along a beach or a muddy path, think about the footprints you're leaving behind. Who knows? Maybe one day, they'll become a part of history too. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe because every new subscriber makes a difference in getting this channel discovered by new people. Until the next time.